Conditional formatting is one of the most powerful features in OnePager because it enables you to automatically apply different styles to your chart based on the data you already have in your project plan. This is faster, more accurate, and easier to standardize than if you were to customize all of the formatting in your chart by hand. Conditional formatting can adjust the look and feel of your tasks and milestones in multiple ways. Color, task or milestone shape, height, border, font, and text position. Color and shape are the most popular ways that people use conditional formatting, so let's look at a few examples. We'll start with a chart that is very basic and only has one color, and we'll show you how to use conditional formatting to apply different colors. To get started with conditional formatting, go to the Home tab and click on the Chart Properties button. When the Chart Properties form appears, click on the Taskbars tab, and then the Manage Rules button at the bottom. This will launch the conditional formatting rules engine. In this example, let's plan to color code by status, where late tasks are red and completed tasks are green. Click on Add Rule to create your first rule. We want one pager to look at the status field, so we'll pick that from the dropdown. Enter late as the value to compare against. Finally, pick a red color from the palette. Our first rule clearly states that if a task's status is late, it should be colored red. Now, let's add a few more rules to cover completed tasks in green, on-track tasks in yellow, and future tasks in blue. With these four rules in place, click OK, then OK again, and you will see OnePager automatically color code based on the status of each task. In our second example, let's add shapes into the mix. In OnePager, tasks are always going to be rectangular shaped, but we still give you quite a few options. However, if you're doing a milestone chart, there are hundreds and hundreds of different milestone shapes that OnePager's conditional formatting can use. In this example, notice that our OnePager chart has the same milestones for each phase. Instead of taking up space repeating the same milestone names over and over, we can let conditional formatting assign a different type of milestone shape for each type of milestone. Back in the conditional formatting engine, we can create a rule that will assign a triangle shape to any milestones that contain the word kickoff. Adding a few more rules, we can assign a unique symbol to each other type of milestone that's in the project. Once these rules are applied, the default milestone symbol goes away and is replaced with a symbol that is specific to the different phases of the project. In fact, if you like, you can even remove your milestone names at this point since they're really no longer needed. In this third and final example, we can use conditional formatting to assign shapes and colors based on two different fields. To illustrate, we could combine the last two examples into two sets of rules. The top rules assign a milestone shape based on the phase gate of the project, but don't stipulate anything about color anymore. Instead, we've reintroduced the original set of color rules that will look at the status instead. These two sets of rules can work simultaneously, with one set of rules driving shape and the other set of rules driving color. Here's the end result. For more information, please review our other videos, or you can visit onepager.com forward slash support or email us at support at onepager.com.